Hi weaving friends, thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to be talking about some changes that are happening at the online weaving school and I'm also going to take this opportunity to answer some of your most frequently asked questions. This video is brought to you by the online weaving school with memberships, single purchase and so many classes on all different types of weaving looms available. There is something for everyone. I'll leave a link down below if you want to go and check that out. Okay, so let's talk first about the changes and why these changes are occurring. Currently, the memberships that are available are the gold, yearly, six monthly and monthly memberships. What I'm finding is that there's quite a bit of confusion with new members between what the yearly and the gold memberships are. And I consulted with my members group as I so often do when I have these kind of problems. And they always give me fabulous ideas. They're very smart people. And some of them suggested to change the names of the memberships to make them a little bit more obvious about what they are. So moving forward, the yearly membership is going to be called the basic membership and the gold membership will be known as the premium membership. There isn't going to be any pricing change to any of the memberships and the six monthly and the monthly memberships, they're going to stay exactly the same. Essentially, the only thing that's changing here is the naming. And I think that's going to help people to mentally recognize the differences between these memberships. I am going to talk about the differences though, because there's quite a bit of confusion about this. And I try to make things as clear as possible on the website, but things don't always come across the, exactly the way that you want them to. And information can be hard to find. I know wherever you go online there's a lot of information there's a lot of reading to do and that can kind of bog people down so hopefully this video today will help to clarify a few of these issues so the main differences between the premium or the gold membership and the yearly or the basic membership are these two things with the premium or gold membership you get access to every single class in the class library and this includes the feature classes Currently, this is over 76 classes and there are three feature classes. These include Three Heddle Adventures, Weaving Boot Camp and Japanese Journey. So with the top level membership, you get all of those classes as well. And that gives you a significant saving. Now, some people want to save a little bit of money and they feel that they don't really need access to those classes. And so they're happier to go with the yearly or the basic membership, which is a bit of a lower price point. So another difference is that the gold or premium membership, you get access to classes as I'm making them. So you get early access. Um, a good example of this is right now I'm making a monk's belt on a table loom class and if you're a gold member, you already have access to the entire sampler section, which is almost completed. And so as that level of member, you really get an inside look at what I'm doing as I'm doing it. As soon as I'm finished making and editing a section of video, I upload it or a PDF, whatever it may be, upload that to the school. And as a gold or premium member, you can go right in there and start the class if you want to. This means that you get to begin classes weeks or even months before they officially come out to the public. So those are the main differences between those two memberships. Something that both memberships have access to is the members group and this is just a fantastic place. You probably hear me mention them all the time because I'm just so proud of the members group. There are over a thousand people in there and everyone contributes and shares and helps troubleshoot and we're really just like a big bunch of weaving friends in there. So any level of membership has access to that members group. The group is not on Facebook, it's on a different platform, it's called Mighty Networks. And it operates a little bit like Facebook, but it's a private group and you don't have all of that other Facebook distracting stuff coming in. It's really just a focus group away from everywhere else. It's like our little piece of the internet just for our weaving community, which I really love. Another thing that all levels of membership have access to is members only classes. Currently there are about 16 of these members only classes and they are fairly self-explanatory. You only get the class if you have a membership 
And then as a member, you also have access to the Weaving Knowledge Library, which is another section within the school that is that I'm building specifically to, as the name suggests, give knowledge to weavers. It's all the extra little things that you need to know, little tips and tricks that help to sort of round out your weaving knowledge. The classes that are the members only classes currently are as follows. Inside my samples box, this is where you get to look at all of my samples and I give you a long explanation of the samples, of the yarns used and all of that sort of fun stuff. Um, covering buttons with your hand woven, croak broad mug rug weave along, reverse calculation scarf, warping for beginners, floating selvages for the rigid heddle loom, pick up sticks tips, intro to reading pattern drafts, fingerless gloves project, seated warping, gaining confidence with colour, hem stitching as a feature, warp floats variation, boat shuttle with the rigid heddle loom, monk's belt workshop and the double heddle slouchy bag. Now inside the weaving knowledge library there are a few classes and I plan to add to this over time but the current classes that are there are avoiding twisted threads, three options for weft colour changes, securing lease sticks, moving textile heddles and Italian hem stitch. So now that I've explained the memberships a little bit better and I am going to include some extra resources for you down below, um, links that are on my blog that are going to help you if you want to refer back to this kind of information in a simple format. But I'm going to just go through now some of the frequently asked questions because there are certain questions that I get over and over again and I'm always referring people to different sources to answer these questions. The first question is what is the difference between a single purchase class and a membership? So at the online weaving school you have a choice between purchasing a membership or to just look at all of the classes that I have available and purchase one that interests you as long as it's not a members only class. So when you buy a class as a single purchase you have permanent access to that class all my classes are streaming, not downloadable. I know that that's a little bit of an issue for some people, but it's something that I've had to implement for my school due to the large incidence of online course theft. And yes, this has already happened to me. So my courses are only available streaming. You do need to have internet access in order to watch the classes. But once you've bought a class, you can watch it as many times as you like in your own time, you can pause it, you can go back, you can learn from the class in whatever way suits you best. Some people like to watch on their large screen TVs, other people like to watch on their laptops or their phones, whatever suits you the best. But once the purchase is made, you have lifetime access to that class, it's yours. A membership operates a little bit differently. So when you purchase a membership, you get access to the class library and depending on the membership you may also get access to the feature classes. You basically get the entire library of classes and you can go through and start picking out whatever you want to watch. You can go one class at a time or if you want to learn specific techniques you can go to certain sections of certain classes. There's all different ways that you can do it. But the thing with a membership is that if your membership expires, so let's say for example that you purchase a six month membership. Once your six months are up, you have the option of renewing if you want to. If you choose not to renew, then you do lose access to that class library. And so this kind of thing needs to factor into your decision as to whether you prefer to buy single classes that you can have and keep and watch when you want to, or if you want to watch a lot of classes and go for the membership. The next question, the next frequently asked question is, are your classes live? No, I don't do any live classes and there's a good reason for this. My students are all over the world, literally all over the world, and it would be impossible to find a really good time for all participants of a specific class to be doing any kind of live work. Also, because I pre-record everything, I can get all of the angles and make sure that the information is coming across as clear as possible. 
If I was trying to film live, I don't think I would be able to do that in the same way while also dealing with the technical issues. So every class is pre-recorded. Now, very occasionally I might do something like um, a Facebook Live within one of my groups or something like that. That's usually more of a, like a discussion on a particular topic. So for example, recently we had the Diamond Stripe Weave Along and there were some questions that were coming up over and over. So I did a Facebook Live to address those questions. Uh, and that was more just answering questions and showing some samples rather than working on a project which really needs that pre-recorded video. So again, you do the classes at a time that suits you. And this works perfectly for so many of my students because we all have different lifestyles. Some people work outside the home, some people have families, some people are caring for relatives whatever the situation so that you can fit the classes in to a time that suits you. Another frequently asked question is, is there a time limit to completing a class? No, I have the option within my Teachable platform to limit the time that you are allowed to take to complete the class, but I don't do that to people exactly for the reason that I mentioned in the last question that everyone's situation is different and I don't think that anyone really benefits that much from trying to learn something new under the pressure of all oh, this class is going to finish soon. So no, once you have purchased a class or if you have a membership, the class does not expire and you can keep going back and reviewing classes. And I know a lot of my students do that, especially if it's for a particular technique, like an Italian hem stitch, for example, they will go back each time they need to work that stitch until it sticks in their mind. Or if it doesn't stick in their mind, they've got the video there to go back to every time they want to use that stitch. Are there additional costs? Well, yes and no. There are laws regarding taxes that mean that if you purchase from a certain country or a certain state within a certain country, there will be additional taxes put on top of your purchase. And unfortunately, I have no control over that. And that has nothing to do with me because I don't ever see that money myself. That money goes directly to your state government or wherever it goes for tax purposes. Another thing that you might want to take into account is on the at the online weaving school, all prices are in US dollars. This is something that has worked best for me to do. And so if you're purchasing from another country, I encourage you to do the conversion rate first so that you know how much it's gonna be costing you in your dollars. Does a membership give me access to your Etsy patterns? No, my Etsy shop is a different little place, another little slice for me on the internet, where I sell my designs. Um, I have some e-booklets there. They're all digital downloads. It's quite a different thing to my online weaving school. Now, initially I had some crossover between a couple of patterns and a couple of classes. Those classes are the Log Cabin Table Runner and the Happy Fibonacci Towels. Those two, if you are a member of the online weaving school or if you see the classes in my school you don't need to also purchase the pattern from Etsy but they can be purchased separately on Etsy if you would rather just have them in that format. The rest of the patterns that I have available in my Etsy shop are unique to my Etsy shop. You shouldn't see them anywhere else on the internet. They're only available there and they are a separate thing for people to purchase if they wish. There's no obligation for you to purchase them. It's just another outlet for me to be able to get my designs out there without necessarily having to do a full video class for every design. And I currently have 20 designs available in my Etsy shop. Do you have classes other than rigid heddle classes? Yes, I do. They are a little bit limited and I'm going to explain why in a moment. So let's just go through the other classes that I do have that are not rigid heddle specific. For the floor loom, I have the introduction to floor loom weaving. I have the floor loom weaving follow up and I have overshot on a floor loom. These classes are all filmed on my David II Louette loom. 
For table loom classes, I have weaving on a table loom and I'm working on the Monk's Belt table loom class and that will be released hopefully this month. These classes are all filmed on an Ashford 8 shaft table loom. I also have an inkle loom class and a tablet weaving class that is also done on an inkle loom and that is on my Ashford inkle loom. So why haven't I done more classes that are not related to the rigid heddle loom? The very simple answer is demand. Anytime I make a class that's not a rigid head or loom class, I do so with the knowledge that it's not going to be as popular as a rigid head or class. And although I love doing other classes and I love weaving on all of my other looms, I have to, as a creator, balance up what's going to sell and what's going to not sell as much. Now, I don't wanna say that it's all down to the money because of course it's not, but it is important if I spend six weeks working on a new class and then don't really make any money from it. So I definitely have to take that into account. Having said that, I do continue to plan for more classes. I'm hoping to do some classes in natural dyeing and that sort of thing. In fact, I have a lot of plans because I'm not planning on going anywhere. I want the weaving school to keep going and I have so many ideas to fill it with. My only challenge is finding the time. And I am very passionate about a lot of different fiber arts and I do really want to share that with you all. So I have a couple of pages that I want to tell you about and I'm going to link to them down below. One of them is a navigation page. This is on my blog, but if you go there, it has easy links to finding a lot of information. Because as I said, I spend a lot of my time in sort of administrative tasks, directing people here, there and everywhere. I made the navigation page to, to help people to find the resources that they need when they need them. And so, I hope that you have a look at that and use that page, bookmark it, save it, whatever you need to do um, to be able to use that page regularly. The other page is um, a frequently asked questions page, which is also on my blog. I do need to update this a little bit. It's a little while since I wrote that page, but it's also really helpful for the type of questions we've been talking about today. And I will be working on updating that shortly. There's one other change that's going to be happening with the online weaving school. Occasionally I will retire classes to and relegate them to members only classes. And I'm going to be doing that with a couple of classes. The first one is the Houndstooth placemats class. And the second one is kitchen cloths on a rigid heddle loom. My reasoning for doing this is these were the classes that sort of got me going or got the online weaving school going almost six years ago. So these were filmed on a borrowed camera with no proper audio, no lighting. And while I still think that they're really good classes, they're not the ones that I'm most proud of. A lot of people still take these classes and I'm glad for that but I am going to retire them into the members only category so that they won't be available for sale anymore. If you would like to purchase these classes before I do that, I'm going to link to them down below. It will be probably a couple of days before I officially retire those classes and they're very affordable. So pop over and have a look if they sound interesting to you. I want to invite you to leave any other specific questions about the online weaving school down below, um, especially if you feel there are some that I haven't covered today, or if things still feel confusing to you in any way, please do let me know because it's your questions and suggestions that really help me to know how to go forward rather than just throwing things at the wall to see what sticks. Now, before I go today, I do want to give a special shout out and thank you to my friend, Kim. Kim sends me beautiful cards. This is one, this one is handmade. I'll pop in so that you can have a look. It's lovely and glittery. Can you see that glitter? Um, Kim sends these beautiful handwritten cards. She calls it her seeds of kindness or sowing seeds of kindness. And I've received several cards from Kim. She often puts in a little recipe or some interesting weaving snippet as well. 
all the way from the US. I won't say which state that she's in just in case she doesn't want people to know that. But I think this is a, a beautiful thing that Kim does and I love receiving her cards in the mail. So thank you very much, Kim. I thank you so much for watching today. I thank you for all of your support and until next time, happy weaving.